hello there. Uh, welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles uh, ATS tutorial. And this will also apply to ETS in case you're interested. Uh, it's All of these procedures will be the same for both. Um, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up the tools to first create your own skin. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to package it ready for use where we can put it in the game and then we're going to upload it to the workshop uploader or using the workshop uploader so if you want to share it with friends online you can and you can make it private and or public if you do something you want to publish on the steam workshop i'll show you how to do that so we'll go from step one all the way through to the end and we'll have a published uh, finished product project so uh, the first thing we got to do is get the the uh, items we're going to need there's three things we need and i made a little list here uh, i've got a folder going uh called paint and scs uploader tutorial so in here i've got links and i'm going to share these links with you and what we need to do is go to each one of these and get these tools and the first one is paint.net so we would follow that link control c and we'll go to the browser and we'll put it in here and enter and it's going to take us here we can get paint.net here so that's where it can happen so we can do that the next thing we got to do is go get uh mod studio oh no actually you know what we need we need the uh, templates so here's the link to get all of the ATS templates. And there's you can also do this to get the ETS templates. Just substitute ATS for ETS. And here we're on the STS software forum and 704 megabytes for all of the ATS templates, complete pack. And it usually stays pretty up to date. Uh, you know, the, the updates this page regularly. So there you go. So that's where you get all your templates. So the next thing we need was, let's go, and it was going to be um, Mod Studio. Oops, let's get that right. Copy, and we'll put that in here. And enter. And here's the Mod Studio official download. And if you do become a patron, uh, it says here, get early access and direct download. You also get, as a patron, uh, you know, if you're doing more complicated things like making AI traffic packs and you want your truck and trailers to match or to hook up together instead of just be random, eh, those sort of things. There's a bunch of stuff with Pro. But it's if you're going to use it a lot, I'd recommend that you support them and just by becoming a patron. And uh, you get all kinds of advantages early access like they say uh express troubleshooting help and tutorials and yeah lots of good stuff so anyway those are the three tools i've installed them already but i'm going to show you something with uh um uh which one now paint.net let's uh okay we can close that out and oh we want to save that yeah and uh let's go to our folder where we're going to install paint.net and I've already installed it. It's on this drive or sorry, mod studio two, excuse me. Here's mod studio two. I've got it on an, it's not on my C drive. And when you go in here and you're, you've got two choices, you can do it as a installer. So that's like a link that will go out to the web and bring the program across the internet to your PC and install it for you. Or you can download the zip in the folder. So what you do, uh, in either case, create the folder. This is an app that doesn't create its own folder. So you go. I went onto this drive. I created Mod Studio 2 folder, and in it I put the zip. And then when you get the zip extracted in here, you can go ahead and delete the zip itself just to save some disk space because you don't need all this twice, once in a zip format and one unzipped. Now, when you get here and you've got this all in here, you go, oh, what now? Well, find the EXE. So it's Mod Studio 2 UI is user interface.exe. And that's the shortcut I have 
uh, is it right here? Mod Studio shortcut. That's what this is, but it's also you. This is the executable to run the program. So drag it out of here, or you know, you're not you're not really going to want to use it in this file. But the next thing you got to do once it's installed is find this one, Mod Studio, Mod Studio 2 activation, and click that. And if you're a patron, uh, it's going to check for your license and everything and give you all of the uh, pro features and whatnot. But I recommend, you know, I believe you want to do that anyway. I think I've been a patron forever, so I don't even really remember <laughs> installing it the first time. So anyway, that's your Mod Studio 2, and it's just going to be in here. Another handy thing, you're going to hear about XML files, a bunch about that going forward in your skinning career. <laughs> and the XML files or are the little translator that translates your drawing uh, that you've made your paint job and uh, determines how it's going to fit on the vehicle and what fits where on the vehicle you're painting because it's, it's not as straightforward as you think. And uh, the XML is the translator and it goes in here. So this path, data, and mod data. So under mod projects, just as an offshoot here, this is where you're going to find templates for these are all of the like, you know, truck mud flap, trailer skin, um, rear trailer mud flaps like we went through the other day, all kinds of stuff in here. And but that's not where we want to go today. We want to go to mod data. So once again, mod 32 data, mod data, SCS, vehicles and this is where the uh, all our um, default uh, templates are or XMLs these are for uh, ATS and ETS are all in here uh, okay so that's where all of that is so that's good to know so next up that's the installation of um, Mod Studio 2 now we're going to use all of this stuff in get going so we got to move on here so let's open up uh, paint.net and we've got nothing going on here so what I did is in my little folder I created here on my F drive in the tutorial folder I have various things in here created a DDS folder this is where the this is the drawing that's going to be the, the uh, paint job that's going to get put into um, Mod Studio 2 is going to be in here. PDN, this is where we're going to put our working drawing that we can go back and edit anytime we want. Templates, I've got a Pete template here I went and got from uh, that list of templates. And just to show you that, I put them up here. This is all the ATS templates. And so I just went into SCS Peterbilt 389. And I grabbed the uh, low roof sleeper. And uh, we could actually grab it again. Let's do that. Let's copy it. We'll put it in ATS templates. No. Our folder, our template folder. Let's paste it in here and overwrite it. So we'll go back to the original template, hopefully. So let's uh, open that up. Go into our paint. We're going to go File, Open. we got to go find that. Uh, where was there? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Templates. And see, this one, oh man, look at the size of it. It's huge. How did it ever get that big? Wow, we got to resize that down to what it should be. Let's go resize and 25 percent i think not sure how it got where it is there what size does that bring it to oh that's all goofy that's not right let's um i'm gonna uh close, get out of here i'm gonna delete that template there's something wrong there and that was on f in here, template, let's delete that. That's all messed up. Go back in here. 
uh, Peterbilt 389, flat top copy. Here, templates. I like to stay sort of organized where I keep things in one place where I can find them. Now we got that in there. We're going to go open with paint.net. That's probably is a, yeah, okay, good. Now here we are. What's it telling us for size? It's still enormous. What in the world is going on with this thing? Wow. Okay, well, we're going to give it a size. Resize, we're going to go maintain aspect ratio. Let's try that. Okay, 8192 by 8192. And by default, they're going to be 4096. I make them 8192, but that's about as big as you can go and keep the file size reasonable. And people don't you know, notice any change and it won't affect the performance of the skin on their computer or anything. But it gives you an extra granularity of detail. So anyway, here's our, we got to create a skin here real quick. I have skinning tutorials, so we're not going to, you know, mess around uh, with creating a whole new skin. We're just going to do something simple. And you can look at the tutorials. The one for the Viper, there's a three part that gives you all the little tips and tricks. And then I have advanced skinning tutorials, and I got quite a few. Anyway, this is our drawing. And what we've got to do, first thing is, this is the way I lay out my preference for the tools. And they are the toolbar, where your various tools are. Uh, the color palette, you can pop it out. And the layers. And all of these three, these are pretty much all I use. And if you ever closed that and accidentally and went, oh, darn, where, where were those things? Where do I find them? They're not over here. They're over here. So there's our color palette back and our layers right there. This is the tools one here. Layers, color. So the well, first thing we do is we don't want to work on the background layer. This is our template. We want to work above it. So we put a layer above it. And if we're working on multiple things, like I have drawings where I've got, I don't know, 15, 20 different layers because all of the different things, I separate them. So I'll have a layer for uh, the driver's side. I'll have a layer for the passenger side. Or make that the other way around. This is the driver's up here, passenger's down below. This is the rear of the sleeper. This is the front of the sleeper on the 389. Windshield frame. This is the top of the fuel tanks. This is the fuel tanks, ends, air filter. So you've got all these different parts on here. And you want to keep them separate so that you can do things easily to one specific thing you're trying to tweak or work on in terms of the body parts. And then you have additionally uh, stickers, uh, script, uh, driver, if you're doing a bunch of different drivers on it, like you're doing a skin for your buddies for convoy, and you want to have their names on the trucks, you'll put a layer for each one's uh, name you could put on the door here, and their unit number, so they're all different for the convoy. You would have a layer for each one, and it's you just click on one, highlight, you know, have it active, and the other one's inactive, and then when you publish your skin you can uh, make a copy of it for each driver so it's kind of kind of cool good way to go so layers use lots of layers in this case it's not about skinning it's just about getting something done so let me see if I did I make a logo do I have one or do I got to start from scratch uh, I think yeah okay let's get something to put on the side of the truck go to the net here, we'll go Peterbilt logo, we'll go in here, images, we're going to grab, uh, oh, this is a nice one here, and so when you do the uh, select tool with your, there you go, uh, print screen, and you get this little thing comes up here, if your Windows is up to date, and you just grab what you want, like so, and we're just going to go, uh, so now that's on the, we just let go of the mouse and it's on the clipboard. So we'll go to our paint.net, 
page. Oh, we got to close one of these. Don't save that one. And we're going to save this one. So file, save. This will save in that default location, just what it is. Save it. And now we got the, it'll save this file size. And pay attention up here on the template. It says kind of handily with uh, ATS says Alt UV set. Alt UV set. Remember that because we're going to come to that when we put it into uh, Mod Studio 2. All right. So here we go. Let's uh, click here, new. And on our clipboard, you'll see it's already says 692 by 302 is going to be the size. Well, that's what's on our clipboard. So we go, OK. We're not going to put it on the background layer. We're going to make a new layer because you can see this checkerboard pattern. That means this is a transparent layer. Like you could put a, just a line across here and it's not going to have any background. So it's not going to affect layers underneath it with, so, with a whole bunch of gobbledygook. This will. Because that has a whole big blank sheet. We don't want to use that. That's no good. So we're going to go to this layer. We're going to go Control V. And there's our logo. So, uh, and then what we're going to do is get the magic wand tool. We're going to select the outside. We're going to delete that. And there we go. Now this looks like, oh darn, it's still a solid thing. Well, no, if we get rid of the background layer there, that's perfect. So this can go on top of something and not have a bunch of stuff, a square block drawn, drawn around it. So now what we can do, let's create another layer here. And we don't necessarily need it, but we can have it. And, oh, where's my background gone? What's happening here? I didn't delete my background layer, did I? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, control. C for copy. Now we want to go back here. Here we go. And here we could have a couple layers if we wanted, whatever. But well, let's just move on. So we're going to put our logo on here. We're going to put a big logo on the sleeper. So let me bring that down here. And then we can resize it. Now if you hold shift in paint.net and you grab a corner, it's going to keep the, the ratio right. Because if we didn't hold shift and we grab that, See, we were going all over the place. So Control Z to undo, Control Z. And how big do we want this thing? That's pretty big. Yeah, whatever. Let's go bigger, go home. Now what we want to do is put that on the other side of the, the, uh, we want to put it on the other side of the uh, sleep, the other side of the sleeper. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, another little tip, grab, an identifiable corner you can go to on the other side but we have because it's going to be flipped around if we look on the right side of our little box and see to the right tip of that Peterbilt logo the little distance let's try and make it the same on the other side it's about somewhere around there and we release the left click we go control C control V and then we can drag this thing away Here's another tip. We're going to hit the shift button and see the little rotate arrow. We're going to hit shift and we're going to grab left click and rotate it. And notice how it went in chunk, chunk, chunk like that. It's going in set increments of predetermined angles. So it's really easy to get it to perfectly inverted. So because if we didn't do that, we went like this. Uh, is that right? Is that right? Oh, where, where's right? I don't know. So if you get stuck and you're there and you forgot to do it, just hit shift and it'll start doing it again. As soon as you hit shift, it'll go the way you want it. Now we got our little box. We want to put this corner on that corner on the other side of the sleeper. So let's go up here. And now we want to do right there. And that's going to be pretty much the same on both sides of the sleeper now. So there, this is going to be our skin. Once again, it's not a skinning tutorial. It's just about how to use the tools. Uh, we're going to go, we don't want to save it now. If we hit save right now, this is going to be on our template because we're saving the template. So we're going to go file, save as, and it's PDN for paint.net. That's good. We'll put it in our PDN folder that I always create. Now we got to give it a name. 
and we're going to give it a lower case no spaces name uh, let's go uh, Pete underscore logo let's just call it that for giggles go save now we're going to move the remove the template now this is what we want to put on the truck and bear in mind uh, when I'm really confused with a truck and I'm unsure where things are going to go the first thing I'll do is I'll print the template uh, I'll make it a paint job. I'll put the template on the truck and then you can look at it and see where all these lines go. Whoops, let me get here. If you wanted to see, if you wanted to put something around here somewhere down here and you want to see where these show up on the truck first, print, print the template, put it on the truck. Look and see where you want to put stuff. Anyway, just a little tip. So now we want to save this file, save as. We're going to save it as a DDS. You can save it as PNG, which uh, they like in paint.net. So we got to change this from paint.net to DDS right here, or a PNG. And here we go. And it's got the same name we didn't. And the reason we're having all lowercase and no spaces, you'll see, because that's the way it has to go into the game. Okay, now here's our first save using paint.net for something to go into Mod Studio 2. And here's a couple settings on this page that you'll want to set, and they'll stay set. B3, BC3 Linear DXT5 from this dropdown. That's the one you want right there. And I just leave this at medium, by linear, and these default settings, perceptual, and uh, where's the MIP maps one? Oh, generate MIP maps. So I just leave that like that. Uh, but the one thing you got to change that BC3 linear DXT5. So screenshot this or take a photo with your cell phone. Say OK. That's going to ask us to flatten it. We want to flatten it because we don't want all kinds of different depths and layers. Because think of what we're doing here is a 2D world. And we got a 2D truck that's just this flat side or flat surfaces. And what we have what we want to put on it can't have any depth to it because it won't it won't work right it, it can't be laid on the truck flat because it's not flat so when you make this DDS it takes all of the uh, layering out or whatever collapses it all into a flat sheet that we can think of it like a vinyl wrap where you see these guys wrap a vehicle and they have this flat sheet and they wrap it onto a vehicle even if they go around a bit of a corner or whatever that's what we're doing. We're creating a wrap for our uh, mod. So uh, that's saved. Awesome. So we've got that. Now what we can do is move on to Mod Studio 2. And that's over here. Now in Mod Studio 2, um, when you set it up for the first time, um, oh, hopefully I'm not repeating myself. You want to uh, pick a folder. You're going to put it in here from the download link. And uh, in your folder, OK, so you create a folder. And uh, if I've already said this, I'm going to edit this out. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't create its own folder. So you go to the drive you're going to put it in, create a folder, Mod Studio 2. In it, put your zip file if you download the zip or the installer if you're going to use the installer option from the Mod Studio 2 link that I'm going to provide. Once it's all in this folder, your EXE button is here. This is the one that I have over here. So you can drag that out to the desktop and create a shortcut. Uh, I already have one, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but this is what will run the program. The other EXE here, Mod Studio 2 Activation, .exe. This is going to activate your Mod Studio 2, and you can register with Mod Studio 2, and yada yada. And I do the Pro Act. Uh, I have a Pro membership for, um, like, as a patron, and I get the Pro features, which are cool. So anyway, that's there, and you can leave this inside the folder. You don't need to drag it out. You should only have to do it once. So that's to activate it. So anyway, that's Mod Studio 2. Let's start it up. We got it here. And now what we want to do is start a project. 
and this is going to be our skin. So let's go start project. ATS, it's the same for ETS. All of this applies for both. First thing is getting started. We've got to create a manifest. And we're going to call it, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, let's call it uh, Pete Logo. Uh, that'll work. Mod author is me, so I'll put goggles 56. And then uh, mod version, I just always go V1 or V2, V3, whatever version it is. I don't get too fancy with all that point, dot, this and that, because I don't get a lot of, I uh, don't have to do a lot of updates. And it's going to be a paint job. And you don't have to click truck and paint job and all kinds of stuff here. This works, just paint job, it's fine. If you're doing the mud flaps, it's tuning parts. AI traffic would be AI. But for trucks and trailers, I just select paint job. I always just select one thing out of there. Don't go nuts. Icon, we're gonna use the default. If you want to create an icon, you would do, I'll show you in my ATS uploaders. Uh, I'll just pick anyone. Oh, recent one, Grey Ghost, uh, SCS389, uploader or icon, here we go. So the big one, that goes into, we'll see later, into um, the ATS uploader, workshop uploader. It needs a big image, 640 by 320. Uh, for the one we're doing now, it's got to be 276 by 162. So you have to create these images in those sizes. So we could put this one in there, but we're not going to because that's an existing mod that went up the other day. So let's just, uh, oops, not browse, cancel. We'll use default. And you can change this default one. And I might do another tutorial on more getting into the weeds with you know creating XMLs and all that stuff and doing this sort of thing, making your own logo for here. But text is where you'd put any special instructions or description of the mod if you're gonna publish it. Or if you're doing it for friends, you could give them their instruction for it here if you have any. So that's pretty much all we have to do here. Multiplayer, it's multiplayer optional. That's checked by default, you just leave it. If you wanna change something in the uh, environment, mod inter internal name, whatever, you can, but I don't know why you would, because the mod inter internal name is going to be um, Pete Logo. Uh, well, no, wait a minute. We're gonna see the mod internal name here. Sorry about that. Let's go to the next step, add template. Simple truck skin, and we're going to go, once you've clicked that, you have to click the truck skin here, and then get your choice here. Peterbilt 389, low roof sleeper. Could put it on the ultra cab too, I think, and let's just see how that works. Maybe it'll put a roof or a sleeper vent in the way, I'm not sure. Uh, you can see an image of it there. It might not work. Might be a window in the way. We'll find out. Day cab, it wouldn't show up because it's all on a sleeper. <laughs> so now we go to basic. Well, no, actually, this is where we need to know the name of the skin. Now, if you don't remember what you did, let's go to the image. Browse. And uh, we want to go to F, our tutorial, our DDS, our image. there it is so now that's the this is the what would be the internal name and this is the name that has to go under that first line of basic so we can copy that from here go back to basic put it in here that turned white so that means we got a good name it's not got too many characters like if we if we had too many characters it goes uh, salmon or pink color or whatever you call it so that's the name of it right there so down here we just called it Pete Logo, I think. So we just call it Pete Logo. You can have caps and spaces and whatever you want here. This is the name that's going to appear in your mod folder when you're looking for the mod. If you're sifting through your mods, it'll be called Pete Logo. And here we're just going to give it a value of $1. Uh, that's what it costs to, to, to buy it in the paint shop. You can make that whatever you want. You can make it 3000 5 25,000, whatever you want. Unlock it level, I always leave it at zero because I mean, I don't feel people should have to achieve a certain level in the game to be able to use one of my skins. That's kind of 
I don't know. It's nasty. <laughs> now, Alt UV. Remember in the template, we looked up at the top and it said Alt UV set? We got to select that to match that. And the base color is not locked, as if we locked it, it would just be no color on it. It would be the default, you know, kind of white on the cap. It would be, we wouldn't be able to paint it. So we're going to, base color is unlocked. So we've already got our image. We brought it in. Icon. Now this is, once again, you could browse and we could go for that, uh, that uh, other image. So here, the image is going to be really weird. I'm going to show you this just so you know. Uh, we got to go to, where would they be again? I think we're oh yeah workshop uploader and if we went to that gray goose gray uh, ghost guy is a uh, option again icon and now we're gonna see gray ghost small and look at this thing it's 256 by 64 it has to be or it doesn't fit here you get an error uh, the this would be turn uh, pink if it wasn't the right size. So we're going to go use default. So bear in mind those dimensions. Uh, metallic options. We want to enable metallic. That's the three option paint color where you can have a background of flake and you can have a, a base coat and a, a top coat over that to influence the color. Mask options. This is for when you're doing a paintable paint job, like um, uh, multicolor paint where you can change the color of the stripes and all that so we're not going to touch that so there's our mod file save as we got to save the project or I always do save it as a mod studio 2 project so I can go and find it again if I want to bring it back into the uh, 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 mod studio and maybe turn it into something else whatever or you want to just republish it you lost your Mod for some reason you want to keep it, so we'll just put it in here. I have a folder on my other PC just full of all the paint jobs, so we'll just put it right at the root here, and we're going to call it uh, Pete Logo. And it's notice it's saving as an MS2 Mod Studio 2 project, and you can start up Mod Studio 2 and import it right back into it, and you could make it change the metallic feature you could lock the base code if you made changes to the drawing all kinds of things all kinds of reasons to save them so there we are now our next job is to export it so we're going to go file and we're going to down here hit export and export and i'm going to put it in my mod folder which is here and we're going to give it a name pete logo and go save there it is we got a we got a mod so let's go see what it looks like and then we're going to upload it to steam uh, okay so what are we doing we've got to start the game oh, okay i do the authenticator thing here i got to scan that uh, code and it'll log me in this is a good feature for security Yeah, it just takes time. You got to do it with my cell phone. Okay. Come on. Give. There we go. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Anyway, it's logging this in. I sort of doing that keeps your account pretty safe. So library home. Uh, ATS. Play. And sooner or later the game will start. And I happen to have a 389 in this profile, uh, my FLX slash K100 profile. So the first thing we do, we're in here, we got to go to the mod manager, put that skin in the game. And I, uh, I do so many skins, I just leave my skins at the top. And above engines, it doesn't really matter. Skins doesn't really matter. They just got to be above the trucks and trailers. And I used to put them all down, but I always have so many skins I'm messing with and experimenting and trying that I got so tired of trying to keep them down. 
And you see how many engines I got trying to keep them down here. Right in here is where the, I used to put them between things like wheels and lights and and the uh, trailers and trucks right in there. So I'd usually put them. But I mean, just look how many engines I got to scroll by to get <laughs> get it in there. Anyway, let's confirm the changes and continue into the game. And let's go load. What's it complaining about? Oh, that's fine. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, I changed those, I think. Let's abort and go back. Make sure I don't have any red. Close this. I think that's complaining because I put the Steam versions in. Let's see, they're not red. Oh, where are we? That's a Steam version. We're good. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Let's just carry on. Because this was the working mods that it's complaining about. They're gone, and the Steam ones have replaced them. Because, you know, to get those things out of my mod folder, my main mod folder in the computer, I delete them. I, I, and I subscribe to the Steam mod. Which is a good tip. It's not being vain or anything else to subscribe to your own skin. It, It's logical get rid of the the one that you turned into a uh the uploader we'll see that we're gonna we're gonna do that uh, process we'll show we'll cut it instead of copy it out of the mod folder when we're gonna use the uploader as soon as we get this proven here we're gonna go and get onto the uploader stage of things and get this thing up on steam except for we're not going to uh, publish it public That'd be kind of embarrassing. People would be going, goggles, what the heck? Isn't that a step down? So, I wonder what content change it's detected. Hmm. Okay, it's moving us. Where do we want to go? Let's go to uh, Amarillo. And that's the current truck. So what we'll do... Let's go to, let's we'll just go quick travel and it'll put us right on a service dot. And we can do the paint job. I think it's zero dollars. Just across the street from our home garage. We heard the ding, that means we can do something. So let's hit the enter. And this skin went up on Steam yesterday. This is the SCS 389 with the... Um, uh, Peterbilt 389 accessories pack. Uh, that's up on Steam now. You got your mud flaps and everything I put in there. And a new uh, flame paint job. The flames on the hood are asymmetric. They're not symmetric anymore. I thought that was kind of cool. And fade out. Go around the cab. Kind of cool paint job. But it's really nice on the rolling too. Anyway, let's find our paint job. Pete logo. There we are. There's our Pete logo and we can paint it. So we got the three options up here because uh, number one, base color is not locked and we activated the metallic. And just in case you're curious, this is the metallic layer here, the one on the right. So if you leave that in the top left, it's going to have the most metallic effect. If you put it black like that, it'll have no metallic effect. I personally prefer this. I don't like the metallic effect because it's too coarse, but I'll show you. It's, uh, oh, we probably have a black preset down here, wouldn't we? There's black. And it's pure black, so let's take this and put that at metallic. I like that pure black a lot. So, you know, watch. Let's see if we can see any reflection across the truck, like on the hood. Let's see if anything changes. It definitely does an outside light. You don't see much change here. And outside, you would. Let's do it. We'll just prove the point. Let's uh, have uh, the background metallic. Save it. And uh, confirm that we want to buy that paint job for a dollar. We'll go out and look in the sun. 4.19 p.m. I don't know if that's good light.
Uh, we probably need more um, a uh, more direct sunshine. Let's change the uh, let's change the time of day. Oops, not 121, 12. Well, it's not looking real bad, is it? <laughs> I don't know. If you find you get, uh, oh, here in the sun, there you go. See the sunspot on the fender right above the headlight? Yeah, we'll do. Let's uh, get under the truck, we'll walk around and to the front. Oops, slow it down. Uh, it's not focusing really well there, is it? Okay. There you can see the metallic effect. And sometimes that gets really annoying. So if we went to um, uh, get out of... Oops, that's not what I want to do. Sorry. Get out of there. Let's go back in the paint shop. We have to move the truck to do that to re-trigger. Unfortunately, brakes are on. I think I got that 444 in here all hopped up. The one I took out of Peter, uh, this is Rudis 444. I figured out how to use his open def for any truck, which is kind of interesting. I'll have to make a video on engines again soon, too. And uh, let's see, we want to tune our paint. Let's take that. Oh, it is at the black. Is that why we weren't seeing that? That is weird. Oh, maybe that's why we're having such a hard time seeing that. We <laughs> had the wrong paint job. Well, let's put it in effect and go look. So we saved that color preset. We painted it. Now we'll confirm. And let's go look now in the sun. Yeah, you're going to see a big difference now. The I didn't save that change last time. So let's go around and look at that left front fender. Right front fender. Hit about here. Yeah, see? The, to me, those flake specs are way too big. If they're smaller, like... Because uh, when you get out here, now it's starting to look annoying to me my sensibility i mean it's all matter of personal taste i'm trying to go sideways here we go yeah i find that too flaky but anyway that's just me so anyway we've created a paint job we put it on the truck we can paint the truck we can make it any color we want in metallic or we can uh, and you don't have to use metallic as i've just shown like that's getting a little extreme there to me Anyway, there we go. And we got the logo about the same place on each side. We'll just zoom around the other side and confirm. Yeah, looks pretty much the same place on each side. So that little trick, we're good. So let's go and put this thing on the use the workshop uploader so we can share it with friends that way if we wanted to. So we're going to exit. Uh, yep, we get right out of here. Could quit if we wanted for all that matters. But... Um, now we're going to get the workshop uploader going so we're going to go alt tab to get to the desktop and now what we do is we go over here on the left so we're on our uh, library page home library and in this search thing like i have the workshop uploader i use it quite a bit so it there it is right there and i have all displayed here or you could switch this to just tools and these are any tools that i might have but what we're going to do is we're going to go into, I'll just put that back where it was. But if you've never used the workshop uploader, this is how you find it. Go in here to the search and go SCS. Uh, oh, did I get it? Yeah, SCS workshop uploader. And there it is right there. So there. So now what you do is you just click on that. That's going to run it. And uh, here we go. Workshop uploader. And we're going to launch it. 
And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask us, well, what are we doing? What game do you have? And I've got for Euro Truck or American Truck Sim. So I'll click American Truck Sim. And it goes away. Oh, darn, where'd it go? Well, it's right behind here. <laughs> it didn't go far. So now we've got to, uh, but what, oh, sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. We didn't create the folders to put in here. So we'll, let's close that. Got ahead of myself. We have to create some folders here that are going to uh, allow us to do this. So what I do, here's my workshop uploads. And these are all the various skins. And I've got like, you know, you look at things like old school. Where's old school? Like, and then you got all the trucks and trailers and stuff that you have for a specific skin. You know, there's a lot of them. I have the Hell Creek ones external, like all the different versions. And so there's just all kinds of stuff. Some are just single things. John Ruder, uh Polar Tanker skin pack. It's a, just one mod in there. Anyway, what we're going to do is we've got to create a new folder at the top of my ATS workshop uploads. And I have one for ETS. You can see down here. At the top, we've got, I put AAA just to make sure it stays at the top of the list. Base workshop uploader files. So in here, these are the three, these are the things you're going to need. You need a folder called uploader files. And in here, this version dot SII. This is super important. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put, uh, I think, I'll put a link to where you can get this version. You can peel it out of any mod. It should work or any skin. But anyway, I'll, I'll get you a link to that. And the other one is icon folder. And this is empty and this is where your icons go. And we're going to create all this. So let's go back up a layer. I click on this. I'll highlight these two and I'll go copy. I'll go back into the uploader. I'll go new folder. I'm going to go Pete logo. Enter. Now find Pete logo. Double click it. Right click and paste. So I put these files in here. This is this is super important and you got to do it exactly like this. You know, there's no options here. Well, other than I guess you could do anything you want at this level, but inside this level, you're going to see very specific what we have to do or else it doesn't work. So just, you know, it's easy. It's just to do what I'm doing here. So now we're going to go right click on mod, open a new window. That's the shortcut to my mod folder. We're going to find Pete logo. Pete logo. We're going to cut it. So cut it out of there so you don't end up with a version in your mod folder from Steam and the one you made. So if you cut it out of there, it's going to be gone. And we'll use the Steam one. So we go into Uploader Files. We paste it in here. Now we've got two folders in here. Uh, files. But this has to be named Universal. Uh, it, you know, it's can't be anything but universal has to be spelt right lowercase no exceptions so the first thing we have to do is we have to uh, turn it into a universal dot zip is going to be our file so we right click it and don't miss these steps and we're going to go show more options 7-zip extract here there it is so now what we've got to do is going to highlight everything hit control and hit version so it gets removed from what we're going to do here. So that's what we want. Oh, wait a minute. The first thing we do is we've got to delete uh, Pete logo. So this is our paint job and this is it extracted. This is the main folder that it came out of. We don't need that. So we're going to right click it, get rid of it. There we go. So now this is where we highlight everything and we control hit the version to get rid of that to take it out of this zip we're going to do go right click show more options now we're going to go with the add to archive you can't go well, i don't know if you can go zip or whatever i just go add to archive because it's easiest and here we go we don't click anything or do anything here other than just start typing don't click you know like i mean you don't have to backspace or delete that thing just go 
universal. Be very careful to spell it right. And then click zip and hit OK. Now there it is, universal zip. Without clicking anything on here, or touching anything, go up here. I hit shift, the uh, shift key, and then I right click and go um, delete. And it says, do you want to delete those six items permanently? And I say yes. Now, this is what the uh, application is looking for. Uh, the one thing we didn't do is create an icon. So when it asks for an icon, we're just going to go and grab that one from the other. Uh, you know, because typically what we would do, I guess we could do this. Let's do, uh, we'll go to that gray ghost guy again. And we're going to go here. Icon, and we're going to grab that big icon. We'll copy it and we'll put it back in here. So go back to workshop uploads, uh, Pete logo here, and in the icon, I'm going to do this. And what I typically do, let me show you while we're here talking about this. We'll go to that gray ghost, for example, and go in here. And in the icons, we're going to have the big one. That's the 640 that's going to go in here in um, um, the uploader. The small one, that's the one we saw in Mod Studio 2 that was 276 by 162 under Manifest. And under the um, skin itself, uh, we had the small one under, uh, oh, what was it called? <laughs> uh, you know, where we had the basic and skin and the skin itself. This one is a little one, 256 by 64. So I I browse to here from Mod Studio 2 and grab these and put them in instead of the default ones in Mod Studio 2. That's why they're here. And if I have a whole bunch of trucks, let's look at a more complicated one. Uh, what would be one with a lot of cabs? Uh, let's see. Uh, what was one I did recently? Big Sky Trucking, uh, SCSW 900, yeah, Icon. So I have various small ones. So this is a big sleeper, 72. This is a small one for small sleeper. This is the small one for the uh, day cap because they all have their own skins. So they all have their own small icon. So that's just another way of going about it. But anyway, let's go back to our uploads, go back to our Pete logo folder. We've got our icon. Oops. And we've got our uploader folder. And in here, version. And this version thing, uh, you can take this and copy this into what I did when I created this whole structure here. It's just a universal version. Right there. That's the same one that's in every one of these mods. It's not magic. You don't have to do anything weird with it. It's just the same folder over and over. So I'll make sure you get a link to that. Uh, okay, let's, so we're, we're done in here. We don't need to mess around. Oh, the only other thing I do in here, temp text at the bottom, is I have this and it, it gets really big. I got to just keep deleting it. But this is the descriptions I put in for uh, all the mods in when they go up on Steam. So I'll show you where that goes. So, you know, big sky trucking for SCS International 9900. You know, here's one for the W900, 389. So this is just the text. And what I do is I create this text. Remember in the uh, when we we're making the mod uh in um mod studio 2 and we had the text box what i type in that text box i save to this folder so that when i go to mod studio 2 and i'll show you that we're going to do that or uh, the uploader we're going to do right now i have the text ready to go so i don't have to retype it type it one time so let's upload our mod so we're going to go to steam we're going to launch the up, uh, uploader and here we go we're going to pick our game and we're going to unhide that and we're going to go new and by the way here's a bunch of skins i put up there 
There's a lot of them. Uh, and if you wanted to edit a skin, you just find the skin in here. You click on it. Like, you know, if I went down to a, a recent skin. That one. And here it is. This is all the information on it. And if I wanted to do an edit, all I do is browse to my updated folder, work workshop folder, and put a note in here about what I did and upload it, and it'll be an update. But anyway, we have to go new. So we'll get back to the top here. New. And we're going to, first thing we're going to do, browse to our folder. So that's under workshop uploads. And uh, P logo. Where was that? P's. Oh, right there. And so we drill into it. And we just highlight this single left click. Don't double click it. It'll give you an error. That's all we do. Say select folder down here. And it says, okay, that's where I'm going for this universal uh, folder mod thingy. So browse for the image, the icon. So this is where we just go here. Go back to Pete logo up here. It takes us back one. There's the icon. And it's the 640 by 320 right there. So there's our icon. Now we need a mod name. And this is where I would have gone into that text. And what I would do typically is, I'll just show you what I would normally do. I'd go into this temp text and I'd grab something like this and copy. And I'd put it in here, control V. And here's all this stuff. So what's the description? Well, instead of typing it out twice, I take this copy it and put it up here and we could change this to uh, we go Pete logo skin for the SCS uh, we got to start deleting the Roland thing well it would work on a Roland so why not yeah we we'll just leave that as it is it will work on all of those and then we could just take we could take uh, Pete logo copy go down here to Great Ghost, put that in there. There we go. We got a description. It requires the SCS Peterbilt 39. The Roland is optional. And we can leave that. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to leave it private for now, all the way until we publish it and get it up to the workshop. So we're going to leave all of that stuff the way it is. I'm going to go over here to select. Uh, what is it? It's a truck part. Is how the paint job works and under truck parts we have paint job now if you're doing trailers we don't have trailer parts we just have trailers it's kind of weird but if you look here there's trucks and truck parts but it's recommended to use truck parts for truck paint jobs weird that's just a little anomaly and what is it oh it's a Peterbilt okay there we go and uh, it's not a change. We don't need a change note. So this should upload. So let's find out. I always get this window. Do you want to continue and yada, whatever, and just always say yes. If you get an error, it's going to throw it up right there. So we got it. It's uploaded. So that's on the Steam Workshop now under our files. So I'll show you how to proceed from here. We can close this. We don't need it anymore. So... We go in the game, or here, and we don't want the this anymore. We want to go library, home, and we come back here to our ATS. We're going to go to workshop, your workshop files. So we go to our files, files you've uploaded. <laughs> I don't know how many I have. I think I got, uh, well, it's way over, it's over, what is it, 400? It's over 400, I guess. Anyway, here's our skin. We got that same icon, which is kind of annoying, but here's our upload. This is what we just uploaded. And it says here, current visibility hidden. So we got to do something about that down here, but we're not going to do it just yet. We're going to do a few other things first. We're going to go, what I always do is I'll go into add, edit images and videos. So right here, we've only got the one image in that folder. Or we could put a whole bunch here, actually, you know, if it's taking us to the uh, the Grey Ghost folder. And all of these, 
that are 640 by 320, I would put in at a little tip. You've got the 640, the big one, and you know, we could just, let's just put one of these in here. And you click it and you upload it. And now when you go look at your your mod, it's going to have more than one photo. You can, in uh, my case, I make YouTube videos, so I can put a link to this skin if it's in a video. And I've been trying to do that lately. But uh, I've got to update a few. I'm, I'm behind on that. So save and continue. And now we've got this photo as an option. And this photo that's on the main mod will not show when you look at the mod in the mod um, workshop and it's scrolling through the images that are available it will it won't go back to this one so what i do i always add that one in here as well even though it's the main picture so i'll go show and i'll find the big one and i'll put that in too and if you're photos aren't the right side size here you'll get an error so save and continue and now we have two photos and it'll cycle between them and uh, you wouldn't ever see this photo again once you start looking at the mod see it just switched automatically to it so now we have to make sure our friends can see it so for my purposes I go public all the time and you can do friends only so we could go friends only with this one and uh it says here only visible in searches to you your friends and admins so what that means is for your friends to find it uh how do they work it again it has to go how do you find a friends one i think workshop uh browse uh is it collections nope Browse items. Uh, I said, nope. Oh, I got to remember how to do this because I don't do it. Subscribed items, collections, your favorites, items. I wonder. Oh, there's a way to do it. Oh, shoot. Why am I not remembering? Items, your favorites, subscribed items. I wonder if it's different because, oh, wait a minute, friends, your favorites, friends items. Can we get over there? Friends items. No, that's not it. Shoot. Well, there's a way to share it. <laughs> I have to look that up, I guess. Items. Friends, favorites, friends items. Followed authors. Friends items doesn't work. Hmm. Darn. Well, somebody will chime in. I'll update it when I find out what that is. But anyway, uh, if you wanted to make it, uh, let's go back to uh, workshop. And we go your files. Files you've posted. This one. <clears throat> go back in here. And you've got something you're really proud of. All you do is you go down to change visibility and you change it from friends only to public. And off you go. I think unlisted. I think, I'm not sure if, I've never used that. Not sure how that works. But you can also, if you go to friends only, I'm pretty sure you could go here and send your friends the link. Copy that and send it to them and they would get the uh, skin let's let's see what that link looks like uh, let's try and see what happens if we go to that link let's uh, close this close this and we will uh, go to a browser and let's put this in there see if it takes us there yeah there it is so and then you could subscribe to it so that'll work so you can share it that way and uh, there you go so that's um from start to finish that's uh, paint.net um mod studio 2 basics 
uh, workshop uploader and how to get your skin in the game and further to that how to share it with your friends if you want and put it up on the steam workshop so uh there's a lot to slot there but you can um you know bookmark parts of it that you want to go back to or screenshot various things with either a screenshot or your camera or your phone and uh hopefully you can have some success with that and uh, get yourself going and look at the other tutorials i have on skinning if you want to learn more about skinning because um, there's lots of little tips and tricks and you know i'm learning new things every day and uh, at some point or other i'm going to have to do another uh, tutorial on skinning and just update with some of the new things i've learned but as always uh, appreciate you guys following along and hope you got something from that and as always take care and bye for now